Hey guys, it's me, Kat, from Monotech Industrial Display Solutions, and today I'm going to be running through the MT1400E touchscreen and the ML121 QT1400E upgrade kit. Alright, so I already have the unit already disassembled, so I'm going to start with how to install the new Monotech touchscreen. So, first you're just going to take these 14 screws off. Alright, and then you're just going to pop these off. Unplug the old connector. Okay, so now you're gonna go and install the new touch screen. You can just peel off the protector. And then you're gonna make sure that the uh, touch screen flex is at the bottom, and you're gonna Make sure there is, uh, it's a flat surface going into the connector and carefully just plug it in like so. All right, from there you're gonna screw the frame back on just the way it was before. All right, so from there you're gonna take the ML121 QT1400E monitor and you're just gonna take, put it into the front piece of metal that I have sitting up here. So in the upgrade kit, we've sent you these spacers and some screws to hold them in. And we're just gonna put them so the monitor is sitting up a little bit. So from there, then you're gonna take the front piece of metal and you're gonna plug in the interface cable into the touchscreen board here. And if you look closely, you'll be able to see that one of the pins has a plug in it, and on the board there's a missing pin, and you have to make sure those two pins line up. All right, and then you're gonna just screw everything together. All right, so from there you're just going to plug the interface cable into the controller board, and um, pin, the white pin will be marked on the board itself. And now you're going to plug your video cable into the monitor. And make sure it's secure so you have a good video signal. From there, you're going to spank it all together. You're going to plug the power source, which has pin 1 marked on the top of it, if you look very closely, into the control board, which also has pin 1 marked on the board itself and you can plug the power into the monitor. Now that everything is put together, you can screw the two pieces on and you're complete. 